الحمد للہ رب العالمین ولا عقبت المتقین و صلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول الکریم اما بعد فاؤض باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان الدین عند اللہ الاسلام اور فسٹ ٹاک از آن اسلام اینڈ سیکولرزم اسلام ایز ویو نو از اور ریلیجن اور دین اینڈ دین ان عربک مینس ریٹرن ریوارڈ ان انگلش دا ایڈیم از ٹٹ فار ٹیٹ دا پیرل عربک ایڈیم از کما تدین و تدان ایز یو ڈو سو شیل بی ڈن ٹو یو دین از دا ورڈ یوز فار وے آلسو لکم دینوں کو ولی دین یو گو یور وے اینڈ لیٹ می گو مائن دین دین از یوز فار دا لا آلسو ان دا سورت ان سورت یوسف علیہ السلام یوسف علیہ السلام واز ناٹ ایبل ٹو ڈیٹین ہز برادر ان دا کنگز لا بیکاز ہی واز دا گریٹ آفس بیئر آف دا کنگ ناٹ دا کنگ ہم سیلف سو اللہ المائٹی سے ظالی کا کد نال یوسف سو ڈڈ وی پرسکرائب فار یوسف ماکان علی یا خدا اخاہ فی دین الملک ایز ان دا لا آف دا کنگ ہی ہیڈ نو پروویژن ٹو ڈیٹین ہز برادر سو دا ورڈنگ از فی دین الملک اینڈ وین دا ورڈ دین از یوز فار اسلام اٹس یوز ان دا کمپلیٹ ایز اے کمپلیٹ وے آف لائف دین دیر از ادر ورڈ مدہب کلوز ٹو اٹ اٹ ہیڈ ناٹ بی یوز ان دا قرآن اٹ از این عربک ورڈ وچ مینس دا پاتھ which you move on and uh, this is not used in Quran and perhaps not used in a hadith but it's in, pl- in plenty been used in the Islamic literature but not for Islam for the different sects of Islam like Mazhab Hanafi, Mazhab Shafi, Mazhab Maliki, etc., etc., the word Mazhab is used. But some of our great scholars, to explain a point, they have used the difference, they have differentiated be- between Deen and Mazhab. They actually use the word Mazhab as the translation of the word religion in secularism. Because in secular word and secularism is the ruling ideology of the world today the word religion has its own meanings and it is limited to certain things so they actually tell that islam is not a madhab it's a deen but remember the fuqaha imam shafi imam malik imam bonifa and imam ahmad bin hanbal rahimahullah they talk about the whole islam headings are different They will discuss ibadat under kitab salat kitab al-hajj, kitab al-zakat, kitab al-saum. And they will discuss the social system of Islam under the heading of kitab al-nikah. They will discuss the economic system of Islam under the heading of kitab al-buyu, by means to sell. And buyu, the chapter of selling and buying. And they will discuss the political system of Islam under the heading of Kitab al-Imara, Amir, the leader, and Kitab al-Imara, the leadership. And they will discuss all the issues. So the mazahib, all four mazahib, they are complete. But our elders have been careful that the word used for Islam, they have kept its sanctity, that they have not used for the different... <coughs> Difference of different opinions about Islam, they have named them as Madhaib. So it's just their uh, weariness, I should say, that they are very cautious that the sanctity of the word Deen should not get affected. Now we come to the word religion. In what does it ex- exactly mean, mean in English? According to the Oxford Dictionary, 1960 edition, The religion has been defined as belief in the existence of a supernatural ruling power. Carefully listen. Belief in the existence of a supernatural ruling power, comma, creator and controller of the universe, comma, 
who has given man a spiritual nature which continues to exist after death of the body. What do you think? Is it the Islamic definition or not? No, no, that is 100% Islamic that he has given man a spiritual nature which continues to exist after death of the body. I repeat the definition. Belief in the existence of a supernatural ruling power, comma, creator and controller of the universe, comma, who has given man a spiritual nature which continues to exist after death of the body. Seems to be Islamic. Seems to be Islamic. Islamic is a lie power. He is a lie power. I don't think he is a power. He has power, but he is not a power. <laughs> this is the trick here. This is the denial of the personified being of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala has been mentioned as a power. <laughs> he is a powerful being. <laughs> There's a lot of difference. Whenever there is a living personified being, he has the authority to say yes or no. Like and dislike. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> How they work? <laughs> you know, all sitting here have got some religious background, understanding, but you have not been able to <laughs> figure out that where they have added a poison. They have denied Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But even this definition was not accepted later on. After this, in the same 60 edition, after semicolon, there was another definition, ruling passion of one's life. It appeared to be true definition of Islam, ruling passion. But in 1995 edition of the same Oxford Dictionary, amendment was made. The first definition was just taken away. Belief in the existence of a supernatural ruling power. Why? Because they had kept something there. But a normal man believes that it is Islamic. So they just took it away. And the second definition, ruling passion of one's life, was amended as controlling influence of an individual. What is this change? Yes. What is secular in it? There is no mention of separation of church and state here. Association with God. You know, ruling passion. Controlling you, you know, passion arises from inside. And control comes from outside. This is actually Freud's concept. That religion is nothing but something being forced on a man from outside. <laughs> it has no origin of, of its own. So now that depicts in the definition. You know, ruling passion was Islamic, of, of course. That whatever is your religion, it controls and rules all of your life. Ruling passion of one's life, it is religion definitely. But since Freud has done that, that religion has got no origin of its own, it has got, got no existence of its own, it is only something which is being forced on a man from outside. So now that depicts in this definition. Ruling passion was replaced by controlling influence of an individual. Do you appreciate that? <laughs> now come to the secular. What is secularism? It has got, got two segments. Ism means ideology of life. Communism, socialism, Tawhid is translated as monotheism, <coughs> Vatal Wujud is translated as monism. Right? So ism is the ideology of life. And secular means, in the same Oxford Dictionary, worldly, not religious or spiritual. Secular means worldly, not religious or spiritual. That means related to this life, not to another life, like hereafter or the grave, etc., etc. Related to this life only, this is secular. Nunya, yes. But in the same in the same edition, 1960, when the word secular is used as a verb to secularize 
it doesn't mean worldly. There is actually the secularism to reduce the role of religion in morality and education. And most of the time when you see or recognize or you have known about secularism is only about morality. But more deep and more clever effect of secularism is in education. So to secularize means to reduce the role of religion in morality and education. Now in 1995 edition, there is a very clear definition of secularism. I will write it down for you so that you do not miss even a word. Believe that laws and education should be based on facts and science, etc. etc. rather than religion. Can anyone explain this definition? What is in it? Religion has nothing to do with your, with your life, whatever you are. Whatever what, is, what does the science and facts mean? The universe where we are living. Yes. Physical matters. Yes. You know, according to the scientific definition of reality, anything which is comprehensible by the five senses or, or at least verified by them has the actual existence and the one which does not, which cannot be verified by the five senses has got no existence. And what is etc? Number one, it should be in the, in the grip of the five, any one of the five senses or it can be verified by the five senses. For example, science claims that there are electromagnetic waves all around, but we cannot see them, hear them, smell them, taste them or even capture them. But now my phone will just ring and I will verify that there is something through which my phone has been connected to yours. So it is verified and then what is etc? Etc are scientific methods and on top is mathematics. You know any student of science who has little studied a little bit of physics, he has read Einstein's equation E is equal to mc square and he believes in it, does not he? <laughs> you know any object moving with the velocity of light will convert to energy and for that very object distance will become 0 and time will become infinite. Every student of science, he has never experienced this, nothing has moved in his, in front of him with the velocity of light and he has not verified it, yet he has got so much belief in mathematics that he believes that yes it will happen. Right? Now effect on laws you already know, you what you know of secularism is separation of church and state. That in church, you should be with religion and outside the church, outside the mosque, you should have nothing to do with religion. Laws will be based on the facts and science. You know the prohibition act of banning drinking was based on facts and figures, not on Bible. Bible also does not allow to drink. But the prohibition law in America, though majority of the American peoples are Christians, 
it was not based on the reference was not bible the reference was facts and figures so this is to do with the law but but more dangerous is education anyone who goes to school his mindset is changed and molded and we all have gone to school don't we believe that anything which is not comprehended by our five senses or verified by them or it is not proved by calculation or scientific methods has got no existence we all believe that don't we what actually the case, the case is that only we make our religious beliefs as exceptions that we don't mix them to our belief is on secularism and our iman is on quran am i right and if you literally mean what belief is that what you really know what you really understand what you believe is your belief so aqeedah becomes separate and beliefs become separate a teacher of biology was asked by dr sar ahmed our teacher well, what do you think about darwinism he said it's kufr dr sar ahmed said i didn't ask such fatwa from you <laughs> i asked you your expert opinion as a biologist he was a lecturer of biology and very active worker of an islamic organization not to name he said the arguments are very strong what does it mean he believes in it but in the religious segment he denies it in the understanding section he believes it in religious section he denies it so it will bring a dual personality and we are all that any person who has gone to school he cannot believe in god as simple as that the school has not allowed us he has molded our mindset in such a way that we cannot believe in god only in the mosque we have no choice but as far as our understanding is concerned the understanding is other way around that is believe that laws and education should be based on facts and science etc a young man who goes to school college university now there are two types one who just studies to memorize and get through the exam he is safe <laughs> but the real student is one who understands all what he studies and if he understand this that anything which cannot be comprehended by your five senses or cannot be verified through them or the scientific methods cannot prove it tell me can he believe in god no he can't so anyone who understands he doesn't believe in god then there are again two categories there are some noble boys who have a very conservative family structure respect of the elders so they don't stand in front of the elders they say okay offer prayer he said okay yes dad <laughs> looking here and there but he's praying he's praying but one who is bold real secular you know real secular is no all are equal you can argue with anyone father and son both are human beings you can argue with him husband and wife both are human beings they can argue with each other now he will stand in front of him ah oh, you all believe in nonsense this and that and he is proud of being of no religion i was born with no religion and he proudly says 
religion is the opium of the masses. I am as I am an intellectual. I am of a higher category. I am not supposed to have beliefs. Yeah, these are nonsense people. The sheep and cattle, they have beliefs. I am a human being. This is the real secularism. You might have heard a difference of opinion on the subject. Some people, some brothers believe that oh, secularism is not against Islam. Some say, oh, it can accommodate Islam. Some say Islam allows secularism. Others say Islam has nothing to do with the secularism. But if you study in depth what secularism is, it has, alhamdulillah, very clear definition that what to talk of the details, you know, ahkam, laws, they come much after that. The secularism education does not allow you to believe in God. <laughs> no religion. Matter is finished. So there is no debate at that level whether the laws should be Islamic or un-Islamic. Religious are secular. There is no such debate. The base is gone. And this is a very clever move. Akhru Dawana Alhamdulillah